Welcome guys to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I actually get sniper entry. So this is a buy low, sell high strategy, right? So this is the key fundamental backbone of how I enter trades, right? Of how I know when to enter a position or where to enter a position. And like I said, it's all about getting those sniper entries, those very low risk entries. My stop losses are always 30 pips minimum that is and maximum 60 pips and then i'm able to get profits of it of hundreds to to sometimes thousands of pips remember from a 30 pip stop loss and in this video i'll be showing you the exact strategy or this the exact approach that i use to actually get those entries right so remember everything goes back to the basics fundamentals is the key for your direction so in this case we'll be taking it from the from the point that you already know your direction based on fundamentals whether you're looking to buy or looking to sell so this is not to give you the direction but it's for you when you know the direction and you're now looking to enter in that direction right and then of course going back to our flow diagram of the technical analysis 101 simplified we lo always look to buy low and sell high and we always focus on the pullbacks right so this is how i approach it so <clears throat> first thing to remember is the anatomy of the actual candlesticks right so first thing to remember is that we have bearish and we also have bullish candlesticks so we're gonna start firstly off with a bearish uh, candle right um, and then of course we need to increase the size here you know how we do it you know how we do it uh, and of course, guys, I'll get to the chart, but you, you know me. I need to teach you guys something first before I show you how I do it or me doing it, essentially. I need to teach you the, the fundamentals behind why I approach it this way, right? So remember, we're looking to get sniper entries. Firstly, understanding the anatomy of a candle. We have a bearish candle and then we also have a bullish candle. But we're going to start off with a bearish candle for this video right just to make things easier and simpler i'm gonna start off with a uh yeah this is a bearish candle right so we're gonna change color of course to make it look like a bearish candle so let's make it yeah let's make it red like this and then obviously gonna need to add this and then okay let's duplicate this line Okay, let's add it here at the bottom right so this is our essentially our bearish candle right this is how it looks it's in its basic form candlestick that is and then of course we have some components of a candlestick right we firstly have right uh, yeah so we firstly have let's change this and make it yeah let's let's change the width of it yeah that's better let's see if we can change the color yeah let's make let's keep it white and then let's duplicate this because you need to always guys look to understand the basics of things right the building blocks of something and then it will be easier when it comes to actually trading it so now we're just breaking down the anatomy of a candle because this is how you will be able to understand why I get sniper entries and how you can also get sniper entries. And then, of course, we know that the basic anatomy, we have the open, right? So we have the open. Okay, we're going to have to change font and size and sorry, font and color. We have the open. Uh, let's make it 15. Yeah, we have the open uh then sorry not the open that is the high uh okay let's do it like this because i've already we have the open here we have the high we have the low uh we have the close right we have the close and remember guys like i had said here on the pullbacks when you're focusing on the pullbacks we're focusing on the weekly time frame pullback or the daily time frame pullback so in this case i'm making reference this is the anatomy of any candlestick but in this case i'm making reference to a weekly candlestick or a daily candlestick so that i needed just to put that out there so we understand that we have the high we have the open and then it drops and then it 
forms a low and then it wakes up and then it forms a close and that is how we have a bearish candle right so that means that the candle opens here pushes higher and then we have a low form and then back to the close right of course this is not essentially how it moves maybe in between we might have some zigzagging but i'm just making this as basic as possible guys like i said i just want to make this as basic as i possibly can so for your understanding right and to make it simple so this is our bearish candle right this is how it this is how it will look on the if it's the weekly time frame this is how it will look maybe if you're looking at a four hour chart this is how it's gonna look if it's a daily time frame if you're looking at the one one minute maybe or even the let's say the 30 minute time frame not the one minute sorry the one hour we don't go to the one minute the one hour or the 30 minute time frame this is how it's gonna look the flow of it because remember a chart ebbs and flows we have higher lows and higher highs from a technical standpoint and at this point we are looking to do what we are looking to get entries or sniper entries we're looking to buy low or sell high right so there are a few things to remember that in this case this is a pullback this is a pullback in a if we have a bearish candle as a pullback that means that the trend is going up based on fundamentals that is what we've gotten based on fundamentals so a pullback in a bearish candle form means that we are looking to buy that is something that you need to always remember we are looking to buy therefore this means that you buy only only buy below the open right only buy below the open of the daily of the daily or weekly candle right this is very important guys this is very important and then this is how you get sniper entries i know f right now maybe some of you are getting it but it will make a lot of sense in the in, in shortly right this is how you get sniper entries right this is how you get sniper entries let's put some exclamation marks just to give emphasis there right so this is how you get sniper entries so if you're looking to buy if the trend is going up and you're waiting for a pullback and you you now have a pullback let's say on the weekly time frame then which means the following week you're looking to buy so what does that mean that means that you need to wait for the market to form or for the for the for the market to be below the open of the weekly candle if you're looking to buy if it's a daily time frame below the open of the daily candle so that means that this whole region here this whole region that we have here uh, so this means that this this is what we'll call our buy region right so this is the buy let's say buy zone it's a buy zone so what does that mean if this is the buy zone so anywhere below the open we are looking to buy so that means that if we are looking to buy a support level needs to be below the open a demand level if we're using supply and demand a demand level needs to be below the open why because it means that we are getting in at a lower price because remember the fundamental reason or the fundamental principle like i had said when it comes to technical analysis it is to buy low and sell high buy at a cheap price sell at an expensive price so in this case when it comes to the market to the candlestick anywhere that is below the open there is a low because a low in a candlestick formation it's formed below the open so this is the secret source guys this is how you understand this so whenever you are looking to buy always look to buy below the open of a candlestick whether it's the open of a weekly candle or it's an open of the daily candle because that, that will ensure that you will get entry as close as possible towards the low of that candle before this candle starts pushing higher if the trend if the trend continues going higher so this is the buy zone so you always look for an entry below the buy zone or below the open or within the buy zone of course you cannot predict that this is the low but what what increases the probabilities of a low or you being able to identify the low is you having a like i said a demand level or a support level 
below the open of the weekly candle if you look left you might see a demand if you look left you might see a, a support that is below the open and then you'll highlight that support and then of course when the market gets there you'll wait for an entry confirmation like i explained in the other video where i was talking about a uh, technical analysis when i was actually talk when i spoke about entries here that you look for entry triggers bullish engulfing operation engulfing on the lower time frames go back to that video i'll actually link it up here on top so that you can watch that video if you haven't watched when i was actually explaining this whole diagram from start to end right so going back to the, today's lesson you're looking to buy low so you need to always look to buy below the open so the first thing you need to do is obviously to be able to identify the open of the candle or of the weekly candle or of the week or the open of the day and then look to buy below it if you're looking to buy and then of course the opposite applies if we are looking to sell right because if we are looking to sell then we need to just flip script like we are going to do right now obviously i'm not gonna start everything from scratch <laughs> otherwise uh we'll spend an hour on this video and this is a simple concept so i don't want to drag it long and make it uh seem difficult or as comp as complicated this is very simple guys uh so on the other end so this uh, so on the on the left side we it's when we are looking to buy right and this is in a bearish candle because we need a bearish pullback or a bearish candle as a pullback for us to buy low because remember we're always buying low selling high so now in this case we are looking to buy so if we are looking to buy that means that uh, that means that we are now focusing on a bullish candle right so sorry we are now looking to sell sorry guys so we are now focusing on a bullish candle because if the if the market forms a bullish candle it is now giving us a higher price to do what to sell at because buy low sell high so in this case we're just gonna flip over a couple of things of course starting with let's just change the color to the normal color that is used whenever it's a bullish candle uh, let's switch the colors of course not this this will obviously have to retro so we can remove this and then the high and the low remains the same the only thing that switches is the open and the close right that's the only thing that switches the open and the close that is the first thing that switches open and the close and then of course the buy zone the sell zone will obviously have to shift up as well so the, the buys the, the sell zone always starts below the open and the, the buy zone always starts above the open of that bullish candle that is that is forming right so in this case we're gonna say it's the sell zone right and then of course you're gonna have to change the wording here so only sell so only sell so we only sell above the open of the daily or the weekly candle right so we're looking to sell so we're looking to sell above why are we looking to sell above because we are we are looking to sell high we always look to sell at an expensive price and buy at a cheap price just as you just as normal as you are trading normally by trading normally i mean if you go into a shop and you're looking to buy you're trading because trading is an exchange if you want to buy something you trade most people will they look at a, they look at the price of something and then they want to buy it at a cheaper price and if they if they buying it to sell it they obviously gonna try and market the price up so that they can get some profit of it from it and they gonna sell it at an, at an expensive price they bought it at a cheap price and now they're looking to sell it at, at an expensive price so that this is how you need to think guys trading and the real world is connected everything is connected guys don't try and isolate trading and think that trading is on a world of its own no everything is connected everything is linked so this is how i need you guys to start thinking and then like i said the sell zone is always above the open the buy zone is always below the open right because it, buying we need to buy low so bearish candle selling we need to sell high so bullish candle then how how would this look on a chart so this is how it will look open Okay, supposed to take select the line so open then high then close right so this is how it looks 
then of course we're gonna have to change color and make it green so this is how it would look on a chart because a chart it's not just candles only but it forms a wave so this is how our wave would look on a bullish candle we have the low open we have the close we have the high right so if you're looking to sell always sell above the open what does that mean that means that if you're looking to sell look for a resistance that is above the open or a, or a supply that is above the open and that is how you will get sniper entries this is so simple guys <laughs> that is how you will get sniper entries right so now we are going to go into we are now going to go into an actual chart uh, so that you guys can see what we are talking about here live in action because guys i don't teach you something that i that i do not use i always teach you something that i actually use and implement in my trading because that's the only way i can prove that it works right and if you look at my entries you'll be able to see that i'm talking about something that i do and something that i know so let me just re visit the diagrams and see if i missed anything here Mm, no not really i didn't miss anything so here's the key takeaway before we move on to an actual price chart or technical chart if we're looking to sell we are looking to sell above the open our sell zone if we are looking to buy we are looking to buy the below the open so the first thing you need to do when you get onto a chart is to mark up your open if you're looking to sell or your open if you're looking to buy so that you can be able to identify that this is the low and I'm looking and I'm looking to sell below this line which is the open sorry I'm looking to buy below this line which is the open or I'm looking to sell above this line which is the open so now we are going to go into our actual chart and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so this is a position that I have so I'll, I'll, I'll only be showing you guys the weekly time frames so that it makes sense uh, what I'm talking about. So this is the position that I have. This is NZD JPY. Obviously the direction and everything is based on Fundamentals, right? Like I've always uh, like I always preach that is my my, my go-to for the direction But as you can see this was the open this red line that I have here was the open of this of last week Because this is the last week's candle uh, that closed on the 1st of March so this was the open and i knew that i'm looking to buy so i knew that i needed to wait or look for and buy a buying opportunity below the what below the low so this means that this whole area here from the open uh let me do it again so from the open to the to 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 the low here this is what we were referring to there as what as my buy zone so i knew this was my buy zone so whenever i'm looking for a level whether it's a in this case as you can see obviously i did not use the weekly time frame but this is also just a simple example if i switch to a line chart you can see this is a broken resistance now potentially turns to support and then price came back to it so this is how this is what i was talking about that once you know that you need to buy below the open then all you have to do is to look for a structure if it's a support or if it's a demand that is below what below the open of the weekly time frame so let us just go through a couple of trades okay actually before we continue with the with the forex trades let's look at to at a position that i've been holding for quite some time where it's a it's a similar story right so this is uh the s p 500 and this was the weekly time frame we had a weekly pullback something that i've referenced in the in the video where i was talking about technical analysis and then And then we've also had this candle here. So this candle, here's the open, right? So this was the open of the candle, the weekly open, right? So I knew when I was looking to buy based on fundamentals telling me that I should look to buy, not based on technicals, based on fundamentals because I get my direction from fundamentals. I knew that I needed to look for a what? A level of support or a level of demand that was below the open let me put a horizontal line to try and make things easier this was the open so I knew that when I'm looking left here I need to look for what 
for a level that is below the open of the weekly candle and then i will need to wait for confirmation or entry confirmation based on the lower time frame and i'm not going to explain that in this video but then if we look left below here we could see that this was the demand level or demand zone that we had here and this is why it looks and this is how i got the sniper entry no i'm not even gonna say this is how it looks like it is no it is a sniper entry this is how i got i get sniper entries based on how i explained everything to you guys right so as you can see this is how i'm able look at this trade this trade with a stop loss of 60 pips or 600 points which is 60 pips I'm almost, yeah, I'm, I've closed in a thousand pips on this trade, as you can see. This is how I'm able to get those very low risk entries, those very tight entries with a very huge upside potential. That is why I always say that my strategy, no, I don't even want to call it my strategy, guys, because I feel it's wrong if I say it's my strategy, because it's as if it's something that I came up with. No, this is principle. So the principles that I follow because anyone can use principles. If I say it's my strategy, that means that the strategy is unique to me and only and only I can use it. But if it's principles, that means that if you also know the very same principles, adopt and use the very same principles, then you can also get similar results. We're not going to say the same results, but similar results or a similar outcome. Because remember, if you want to change the output, you need to change the input. So if the input is you following the same principles that I follow, not my strategy, but the same principles that I follow, then chances are you'll get the same output. Because the only way to change the output or to change the results is to change the stimulus or the input, right? So that is what I mean. So let's go back to our, our Forex trades. So AUDCHF, AUDCHF, this our I mean a buy trade. As you can see, the open is here and I waited for price to drop below the open into my buy zone or buy region for me to look to buy. And this is how I'm able to get, get or buy low and sell high guys. That's essentially the, the, the story. This is how I'm able to buy low and sell high. AUDJPY, or oh, I have no trade on AUDJPY. AUD NZD, as you can see, I also entered towards the high of the candle. Yes, it can move up and take me out at a stop loss. It doesn't matter, but my risk is always low. This is a 30 pip stop loss, guys. If you don't know, this is a 30 pip stop loss. It might look huge because we're on a weekly time frame, but this is just AUD NZD. But this is a 30 pip stop loss. It's not big. If we zoom out a bit, as you can see, these trades here, it was the same thing. In terms of entry these trades all had 30 pip stop losses right and then let us go into another trade that i have running because i just want to show you guys the power of, of 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 what i've just explained to you of what i've just taught you guys and then aud ch nzd chf sorry it's the same thing this is the red line is the open i wanted price to get below the open and only then would i look to trade so that means that if price was here even if I had a, a buy signal or a buy opportunity, I would have ignored it. And this is where, this is uh, some, 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 someone actually asked me in the comments uh, that uh, how do I manage my emotions and all of that. And I said, I was only an emotional wreck when I was focusing on using technical analysis only. But ever since I understood fundamentals and the direction based on fundamentals, then I was no longer concerned about my emotions, right? And it's the same here because I've now used this as a filter. Because remember what I said about technical analysis. Technical analysis is a filter. You use technical analysis as a filter, not to find the direction. You use technical analysis as a filter. But what is a filter? A filter is something that helps you make the right decision. Know whether it is now the right condi conditions or the right point for you to buy or for you to sell. So if we were above the open, I am not looking to, to buy. Even if I get the most beautiful of entry trigger, a very strong bullish engulfing or whatever it may be, or maybe a flag pattern in the lower time frames. But as long as it is above the open, I am not going to be bothered. I want price to pull back because I understand the fundamental principle of trading Forex or trading the financial markets. You buy low, you sell high. So I understand as long as we are above the open, we are not at a low or as close to a low where I can look to buy at a cheap price. Then 
okay nzd jpy we've looked at nzd jpy and then cat jpy same thing as you can see guys with all these trades it's similar it's exactly what i've explained to you and like i said even if they the price continues dropping and takes me out at a loss it's only 30 pips with a potential of because my my target will, is, is up here that's a potential of let's see in terms of pips that's a potential of 190 pips that's my first target with a 30 pip stop loss you do the the risk to reward ratio i don't really bother much about that but this is what i'm trying to show you guys that this is how you get sniper entries this is how you get sniper entries right and then gbp jpy the last trade here so gbp jpy same thing open of the candle was here and we had a pullback i looked for a level to buy at and then i entered my position and this is how you keep getting what guys you keep getting those sniper entries so this is the video guys that i wanted to share with you uh the buy low sell high strategy um meditate on this diagram guys meditate on this diagram that i've just explained to you understand the formation the basics of a candlestick this you see what you see here is exactly what i i used to enter all those positions this is the actual weekly time frame it went low i bought around the low and then it started pushing higher and then it started pushing higher guys and that is just how i approach my trading that is how simple it is right so guys i hope you found value from this video and please guys apply this and of course guys please share the videos this is free information don't hoard the information for yourself if you know that there is someone who can benefit from these videos that i make because that's the whole reason i put them out there not only for you but for the next person who will also benefit from them if you know anyone share the videos with them guys and uh share the knowledge I am sharing this with you because I know that me sharing this with you does not take any way, does not take anything from me. It does not take away my ability to make profit or generate profits from the market. Neither does it take away my knowledge. Me actually sharing this with you actually makes me know this even more and actually makes me understand even more because for me, the learning never stops. So me sharing this does not take anything away from it, does not reduce the knowledge that I have. So that is why I urge you guys, if you know anyone who will also benefit from this, share this guys. Statistics show that majority of retail traders are losing. Share this knowledge with people who would also benefit from them. I know this works because I use it. And me sharing it with you won't take anything away from me. So you also sharing it with someone else will not take anything away from you, right? So in closing guys, that's what I wanted to share with you. And also, you can check out the website, guys, at Unconventional Retail Trader. Uh, and then, of course, uh, stop making retail trading mistakes that are keeping you and your trading from exponential growth. And this is my motto, guys. This is what I'm all about. Uh, and, yeah, you can, if you get time, uh, excuse me, guys, uh, just check it out. Uh, of course, uh, if anyone who's looking for mentorship, I'm not about pushing mentorship, guys. Uh, this is for anyone who feels they might need it. But if not, you're smart enough, guys. You're smart enough to know if it's for you. If it is for you, then you'll buy it. If it's not for you, then you also will not buy it because you're smart enough to know the right decision that you need to make. Uh, but essentially, this is the website, guys. So I've had people who are asking me if I do offer mentorship. This is the website that i have here and of course go through the pro go through the three um programs that i offer in terms of the types and the duration and then of course if you want a 45 minute consultation uh you can also book that guys uh if you feel that maybe you're not yet ready for mentorship or you just you are prof let's say you are profitable but you feel that maybe you can slightly increase your edge and i just need maybe to engage with this person for you for 45 minutes i have one specific question that i need to ask this guy and if he can answer it then i know that my trading will evolve to a different direction then that is when you do something like a consultation because there you come in there you just ask those specific questions you're not looking to learn everything from scratch but you have specific questions then i give you all the answers based on that right so uh yeah but if you get time guys just check out the website and then of course like i said if you found value from this video do not 
forget to like the video and obviously share the video guys with anyone who might find this helpful who needs not anyone i know a lot of people will find this helpful and find this useful like i said because statistics are showing that majority of us retail traders are actually losing money and i was one of those of the majority that was losing so i know how it feels so don't hesitate to share the video like subscribe also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a another video and thank you guys for your time for tuning in and as much as these videos are free for you they free from a monetary standpoint but they're not free because you're taking your time to watch them so i appreciate that and as long as you're getting value from this let me know and even if you're not getting value guys any any sort of uh, feedback is appreciated if you feel that maybe there's something that i missed that i could have added leave it in the comments below if it's something good leave it in the comments below if it's something bad leave it in the comments below guys you know i'm not i'm not standing here and purporting myself as someone who knows everything uh but i do know that i know not everything but a lot uh so yeah anyways see you guys in the next video